Um, but I'm so excited for you, Deja. It's been so amazing just to see her transformation like Erin talked about. She was met by Brittany and Ashanti. She came, she came at the tail end of our Bible discussion. But um, whatever we discussed, man, I'm sure it just set, it just had her thinking the whole time. And so we didn't see her for like two weeks after that. Right. But when she came back, she was like, all I've been thinking about is the Bible discussion. I always know the time, but I never am able to make it. And so she came. And from there, she came to the singles uh, dating devotional. Yeah, she, Come on. She's yeah. just immersed herself in the with the women and in the in the fellowship. And because of that, because of her um, quiet times and the Bible studies, God has really transformed her heart. Yeah. Um, and awesome. she has a true relationship with him now. Come and on. so I'm really yes. proud of you. I'm really proud That's of your perseverance. Um, a scripture I want to share with you is in Ephesians 3. Come on. And verse 16. It reads, I pray that out of his glorious riches, he may strengthen you with power through his spirit and your inner being, so that Christ may dwell in your heart through faith. And I pray that you, being rooted and established in love, may have power, together with all the Lord's holy people, to grasp how wide and how long and how high and deep is the love of Christ. Wow. And to know that this love that surpasses knowledge, that you may be filled to the measure of all the fullness of God. Oh, wow. mm -hmm. And this is God's promise for you. Like, it's, it's very hard to understand how long and high and wide and deep Christ's love for you mm. is, but it's real. God loves you so much, and his love surpasses knowledge. I know you're a USC student, but his love surpasses <laughs> that knowledge. Um, and you're going to just be filled with the full measure of his spirit. I'm just excited on how God is going to use yeah. you for your friends and family and on campus at Come USC. So. I love you. And now I'm going to have Brittany here. Come on, Brittany. Hey. Uh, I just want to share a quick scripture in uh, Proverbs 9.10. It says, the fear of the Lord is the, is the beginning of wisdom, and knowledge of the Holy One is understanding. And um, I share that because, like, I love your heart to really go after knowledge of God. Mm. You know, uh, first sharing with you, like, you were like, oh, I don't want to be about church, and I'll, I'll, I'll come to Bible talk. And, you know, just seeing your heart transform from that moment to now, yeah. like, you've always had this heart to go after the truth, which was actually yeah. our first Bible talk, was about searching for the truth. Um, I love your humility yeah. and um, how you ask so many questions, like, yeah. how yeah. do I do this? What does that look like? You, you know, and to see you um, activate that, and like, okay, apply that, you know, it's amazing. And you've definitely strengthened all of our faith, yeah. and yeah. it's encouraging to have you as our first fruit Come in on. USC. Yeah. 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 I guess I'll quickly sum up how I even got right here. Um, so I'm originally from Georgia, born and raised. Um, Come on, Georgia. In New York a little over the past year. Um, never even visited the state of California. So just imagine moving to a place that you never even visited before. So, uh, it was a rough transition, and I'm I'm literally out here by myself as far as biological family goes or whatever, you know. So three thousand miles, three time zones away and stuff. Is, you know, it was a lot, and then school on top of that as well. And so um, wow. I found it interesting how I guess God decided to um, come into my life as prominently as he did, like at this point, yeah. you, know, you know, with this big move, with this, you know, new school and stuff yeah. like that. Wow. You know, it's still it's still pretty early in the school year so far, so it's like, you know, now I'm, I'm glad this is happening now, so that way, you know, as I'm, as I'm matriculating through my program, and, you know, whether or not I stay in California, you know, I'll, you know, I'll just, you know, know the truth of God and be able to, like, walk in his truth and stuff Come like that. Come on, yeah. that's it. I was, um, because usually, so usually on campus or just anywhere, like, when people, you know, approach you or whatever about, like, God and the Bible and stuff, you know, I know I'm like, mm. Yeah. Like, oh, yeah, come. Like, no, thank <laughs> so I don't know, maybe they saw me or whatever, like people tell me I look mean or like standoffish, so I was like, okay, maybe they just saw me looking mean and like, oh, she needs Jesus or something. <laughs> <laughs> or whatever, but yeah, um, and I ended up missing like the majority of the Bible talk or whatever, and um, you know, even 
what the Bible talks I've been going to ever since. You know, Eric's been doing such a great job. Just yeah. Come on, Eric. Come on, Eric. Um, the first one I went to, even though I caught the last five minutes or whatever, <laughs> you know, the fact that just those five minutes, you know, it stayed in my head. And then, you know, wow. I came back after those couple weeks. And, Come on. Um, I would say I wasn't actively, like, seeking God, like, on purpose. It was just, like, hearing that, you know, that small word. Mm -hmm. And it's like... I want to learn more what's you know what's going on or, you know what's mm. this I'm, I'm curious or whatever you know so i felt myself kind of getting more drawn to it mm. and i mean that's how i guess i've ended up here i've dealt with a lot of like insecurity in my life you know as far as my personality and um mm. like i've grown up i wasn't poor but i'm not rich either so like i have a lot of like tangible things and mm. stuff i've always had things that i, I needed you know financially have a car you know even be able to go to this very expensive school <laughs> you know, but I've always struggled with, you know, my connections with, with people, mm. you know, and, and building relationships, you know, with people and stuff. And it's like, why, like, you know, why, why am I this way and stuff like that? And so, come on, Keontae. I'll, I'll, I'll give a major shout out to, to the main five: Vicky, um, Ashanti, Renisha, Sheila, and Brittany. You know, yeah. like I've only known them for like, Woo, well, I've only known them for like three weeks or whatever. But like, I feel, you know as close to them as probably, you know, any family member wow. or any person I've known awesome. in my life and stuff. And so, you know, just just knowing that, you know, God didn't make any mistakes when he, you know, designed me the way he did yeah. or my personality mm, and stuff true. like that. You know, yeah. I just need to, to, to look to him and, you know, that way I could build more confidence in myself. And mm. I was literally, you know, scared all the way up until this day. And, um, I, like with the quiet time, Sheila told me how, you know, those act like, you know, like fuel and not saying that she was ever wrong, but like the past few days, I had missed my quiet times and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I just remember how those were the days when I was like the most scared thinking of this baptism, like, <laughs> can it be next week, <laughs> next month, I'm not ready, I'm not ready. But literally after our counting the cost um, study, I went and just read a few chapters in, in John mm -hmm. and like literally just after reading that I didn't even think about it the rest of the day. Wow. Just like I'm That's good. Awesome. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 I'm I'm good and ready to get this done and ready to well not jump in the water. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, here, though, I'm, in here. I'm ready to see, you know, what's what's on what's on the other side because my way hasn't worked. Wow. Come on. You know, right. my way hasn't yeah. worked, so I'm ready to see, you know, how far God is gonna take me. Come on. Come on. Come on. Well, I have two of the most important questions of your life. Yes. Do you believe that Jesus is the Son of God, that he walked this earth, lived a sinless life, that he died on the cross for your sins and resurrected on the third day? Absolutely. All right. And what is your good confession? <laughs> Jesus is Lord. Woo! <laughs> Come on. <laughs> <laughs> we can now baptize you in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Your sins will be forgiven, past, present, and future. You will receive the gift of the Holy Spirit, and your name will be added to the book of life. Yes. 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 Uh, dear Heavenly Father, God, thank you so much for this moment right here, God. Thank you, Lord, for sending your son Jesus down to die for each and every one of us and to die for Deja, God. Uh, thank you, Lord, for allowing her to um, be born again and to live a life as a true sold-out disciple, Lord. I pray, Lord, that you um, continue to be with her and um, just help her fight the battle um, of good and evil, God. We love you yeah. so much, and we pray all these things in your son, Jesus Christ's name. Amen. 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 Back up there. Can she hold your hair? And then you just hold your curly hair. I've got enough room back there. Yeah. <laughs> and then you hold that hand and make sure her shoulders are Bye, Deja. Bye, Deja. See ya. Darkness, God. There you go. Yeah. Woo! I've been with me. I've been with me. By the blood of the Lamb. By the blood of the Lamb. I've been with you. Yeah.